Welcome back to another episode of Day of the Day. Our first day today is National Limerick Day, and no, I'm not doing what I did with National Haiku Day. Put far too much effort to that for basically no no payoff, and I honestly find limericks more difficult than haikus. Mostly because limericks kind of have to rhyme where haikus don't. Today is also National Odometer Day, which is the thing in your car that keeps track of how far you've gone. So, answers in the comments, how far have you gone? You can take that question however you like, and I bonus points if you give an answer that people can't tell exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, they, they, there's a challenge for you. Today is also National Nutty Fudge Day. And sure, why not? I prefer other kinds of fudge. Best kind of fudge is still rum and raisin fudge. Don't know if there's a rum and raisin fudge day. There might have already been a rum and raisin fudge day and I've just forgotten because my memory is awful. And I don't know, maybe, maybe if there's a plain fudge day and have more effort, time to plan it and I can be more arsed, I might try and make fudge, but as far as I'm aware, fudge isn't easy to make. And you saw how much, how well I managed to fuck up those soda cakes, which should be really easy. They worked fine the first time I did them. But for some reason, the time I did them on camera, they went awfully. So, I don't know. I will have to redo them at some point on camera just to show that they do actually work. Because they do actually work. Like I said, I did them before, but just not. they just didn't work the time I tried to record it. Because, of course, they didn't. It's on the floor. We're going to end today on National Fibromyalgia Awareness Day. Another one of those, you know, coloured ribbons. I think this one was like... Not pink, somewhere between pink and purple. <laughs> like, I want to say a mauve, but I don't actually know what mauve is. Like a magenta, maybe. I don't know. It was one of the days with a ribbon. I've got my phone because I'm just gonna go through some of the the symptoms because they like, in the style of uh, like you know you know it's not a thing in this country because we don't have to marketize market you know we don't have to market medicine because we have a national health service and don't have to market medicine. You still have to pay for prescriptions, which is I find funny. Right, that sounds a bit seems a bit weird, but like actual we don't have but we but we just get given whatever the doctor tells us because you 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 get the at the end of those adverts. You know, contact your doctor. Ask your doctor today if this is good for you. Well we don't. We go to see the doctor and then the doctor tells us what to try, what to try. Yeah, the way round it should be when you don't have to pay for healthcare, which you shouldn't have to. But this is a whole this is a whole argument for another day. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna re just read through them in the style of, you know, that guy at the end of the ad when they're doing all like they you've they've finished like the the bulk of the ad and there's now that guy who has to be like possible symptoms include in like the fast talking thing because we're, we're good things show over the screen. Reminds me of a video I watched ages ago that was basically the opposite of that, that. Told you all of the good things and showed you all of the bad things. Instead of showing you a bunch of good things and telling you all the bad things. Fibrom fibromyalgia affects more, more than 12 million Americans. It's a muscular skeletal syndrome that causes a variety of symptoms, including widespread pain, endopoiency, incapacitating fatigue. Anxiety, depression, migraines, chronic slash chronic headaches, irritable bowel syndrome, irritable bladder, insomnia, hypersensitivity to hot and cold, swelling, hypofog, difficult to rem difficulty remembering, numbness, stiffness, decreased energy, no noise, light, so odor sensitivity, skin sensitivity. That's that's the whole list that this website has given me. It sounds pretty bad. Oh, the buy the bowel stuff actually. Hmm. Like everything, it's one of those things. Or everything, you, like if you read anything on the internet, you uh, you know, you have the potential to, especially when it comes to diseases, have the potential to project yourself onto it. Again, if I'm realistic with 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 uh, self diagnosis, my my guess would be I have chronic fatigue. But that that, that pro could be a problem. I doubt it, but it could be a problem. I do get random pain all the time. I used to have real bad problems with bowels. Not anymore. Just good. Anyway, those were your days for today. Join the flock and subscribe. 
prove to the world that you are better than YouTube and share this video because, you know, they don't and therefore you doing it would prove that you are better and also help me to actually get views more regularly. Embrace the chaos, it makes everything so much easier, so much more fun, so much more entertaining. I'm not relying on whatever to go right. And finally, change the world. Go out and make... Well, don't go out, because I know that Boris is being not very specific, but don't go out. Continue not to go out. Stay inside until the curve is flat. <laughs> the curve's not flat, stay the fuck inside. This has been your PSA. Brought to you by Shattered Cheap Productions. Limited. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.